Well, Maria, we're taking a look at our weather there, Maria. Yeah, near the Midtown Tunnel, you got a nice view of the sky, and so far it looks good traffic-wise. Adele's got you covered with some other slowdowns, but run outside. It's going to be beautiful. Cooper from Queens is ready, looking at that gorgeous sunshine. 72 degrees through 11 a.m., but coming up, we've got some showers returning as early as tomorrow, but also through the weekend. We've added some back into the forecast. I'll show you that in the 10-day. Thing. And we do have still a few more beach days left in the season, right? We officially start meteorological fall, believe it or not, next Friday. So we are seeing that time tick away. But as far as temperatures go, it's comfortable to us, maybe not summery. As you look at the next week high temperatures here, the highest really on Saturday where it gets close to 80 degrees. And that may be just about it as we wrap up August. And of course, again, September 1st next week, the average highs this time of year, 81 degrees. So when we say today, the next few days and next week a taste of fall that's because we've got a taste of September mid to late September in fact when you talk about where the average highs are well it's okay though we've got some beautiful sunshine so again it feels great outside high pressure though shifts off to the east so we do see a few changes humidity is coming back so that part of summer is definitely going to be in place here by tomorrow and into Friday and along with that a chance for some showers and I think timing wise more likely late Friday, uh, late Thursday into early on Friday unfortunately this boundary right here, a trough, the dotted lines there, just enough in place that we can't quite rule out a shower or even a thunderstorm on Saturday. So not a complete washout, of course, for the weekend, but you know, with the weekends winding down in summer, you want it picture perfect, not quite there. This boundary as it crosses through this weekend will help guide Franklin, by the way, away from the coast. So that's also a good uh, aspect to what we're looking at weather wise. So if you're looking to the weekend, again, keep an eye on the shower chances Saturday temperature wise, just near 80 degrees. Sunday, definitely the better of the two weekend days, but it looks great out there right now. The radar and satellite picture. We're at 66 degrees, keeping an eye on those clouds build with highs today near 80 degrees. You can see by tomorrow morning, maybe a spotty shower or two, and then a little more likely late Thursday. And it could affect the weather around the five boroughs. Yeah, looking good right now. I've got four of them in sight from Brooklyn and Queens in the upper 60s. Staten Island right now at 63 degrees, 67 in the Bronx, and the winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. But we're bone dry, rain free today, not the next few. In fact, starting tomorrow, rain chances and by the end of the weekend, maybe as much as an additional inch to two inches of rain. Got more rain next week, too. All the details in the 10 day. All right, thanks so much. Also ahead, a seven year low, low humidity, just a few clouds. It's going to be a pretty sunrise as we look from Jersey. Jersey City and Lower Manhattan, and that sun is coming up and going to shine brightly the rest of the day. <coughs> Excuse me, 67 degrees currently, that dew point down in the mid 40s. So that's what's giving that little bit of a fall feel out there with a northeast wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Maybe a light jacket for you this morning. And then as we get into the midday by 1 o'clock, plenty of sunshine, 76 degrees. So high pressure is going to keep us nice and dry, nice and sunny for the most part today. Right. Then it moves off to the east, and we're looking at a return with winds out of the south does a couple things bring back the clouds the humidity but also the showers and we could see a few spotty showers as early as tomorrow I do think later Thursday into early on Friday will be a little bit more of the rain even a few thunderstorms and unfortunately we're not going to get this picture perfect weekend we have this boundary right here the dash line that's a trough that's enough instability that we can't rule out a spotty shower too but you can see it's not a washout don't cancel plans just be aware but looking ahead to next week that boundary still Expected to guide Franklin away, but we still have some unsettled weather. So we're going to be in and out of these shower chances, which if you have some weekend plans, as I mentioned, may interrupt some. We're looking at the Giants at versus the Jets at MetLife on Saturday. A shower is possible, 75 degrees. So all in all, should be pretty good uh, football weather. And if you're doing any traveling across the region, again, a mixed weekend a bit. For Saturday, the best chance for showers really from here to Philly up into New England. Sunday is looking like the better of the two days. Looking fantastic today though 78 degrees for the high with plenty of sunshine overnight tonight a few more clouds 66 degrees and then we'll dust off that umbrella get it ready to before we take a break yeah it's mainly clear it's a little on the cool side we certainly still have a breeze out of the north for this morning and then by tomorrow we're talking about a very gusty wind out of the south a return to humidity clouds and yes some showers how many days we see it even into the weekend in the 10-day forecast Maria,
there. We're getting a nice little preview of a lovely day. This is via EarthCam. Don't be scared. There's a very dramatic cloud moving over, but moreover, we're looking at sunshine for the rest of the day, which is great. But it's a beautiful August afternoon, and we are still continuing our Clear the Shelters campaign this August, and I have another sweetheart to show off to you. And if you think that uh, you are ready to welcome a pet into your home, into your forever home, remember you hold up your camera to the QR code, you click on the link, you can find out more. And today's sweet baby is, this is Nico, a little tuxedo little lady. She's got a little half mustache right there. She's full of personality, loves to cuddle, very sweet, very friendly. She's about six months old, but something very special about her, she is paralyzed, and so she just wants that loving home and just be cool with you and chill with you and be sweet. So if you think Nico can fit into your family, definitely scan that QR code and find out more about her. She's really, really cute. 67 degrees out there right now. The dew point is nice and low and a bit of a breeze. That's adding to that little fall feel we've got this morning. By noontime, 74 degrees on our way up into the upper 70s. So no sign of showers today. That's not the case tomorrow. We do have a return of that chance along with the humidity. So high pressure is out of here. It was brief and beautiful, but it's gone by uh, tomorrow and into Friday watching this next round. This is going to surge some humidity by Friday. So you're going to feel that stickiness and the showers. And I think more likely early on Friday and can't rule out a shower or two on Saturday, unfortunately, but then things quiet down as we head into the early part of the week. So enjoy today. Really, really nice. As I mentioned, cool 67 right now. We'll head up into the upper 70s by early afternoon. A ton of sunshine. You will notice more clouds if you're out late tonight, but save the umbrella for tomorrow. That's when we could see a few showers move on through 72 degrees. Again, I think more likely for tomorrow afternoon overnight.